Hello, this is Bobby, back with you from Survival Existence. Have you ever wondered what you would do if you couldn't find your way, whether you had forgotten your compass, somebody had removed it from your bag and didn't replace it like they should have, or you just simply were caught in a situation where you couldn't figure out which way to go because you didn't know which way was north? The sun is at midday high. You can't tell what direction it came up from nor what direction it's setting in. In just a minute, I'm going to show you a way to be able to find your way. This method is called using a shadow stick. In just a minute, I'll be back with you and show how it's done. First, what you'll need is a straight stick or some other item that's oh anywhere from a foot to three feet long, depending on the area that you need. But anything in, within that uh, particular length will do. In this case, I'm using an element from a two meter antenna that I had laying around the house. And uh, you'll need two items, such as a couple of dirt clods, as in this case, or a couple of rocks, or even a couple of sticks you can press in the ground at the end of the shadow of the main stick that you're gonna put in the ground. The first thing you need to do is simply put the stick in the ground and try to put it up as vertical and plumb as possible, this way and that way. You'll notice that this stick that you have put in the ground casts a shadow. It comes all the way out from here, all the way out here, down to the very end of that shadow. That's where you want to place your first marker. Your first marker is always your west marker. I'm going to place it right there so I know that this will be my west marker. And then I'm going to wait anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Really doesn't matter. Although the longer time, length of time you wait, the more sure you are of the direction. It's not going to be off for a few degrees, but 20 minutes is usually plenty good enough to be able to tell where north is. Here in just a few minutes, we'll be back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, which should be enough to be able to tell pretty much which way north is. You can see the end of the shadow is right here. So I'm going to put my marker right there. Then I'm going to pull a pointer up and lay it up against these, where there's two sticks or like I said, uh, two stones, just whatever. And this first stone we, or the first marker we put down is a westerly marker, and the second one is easterly. So we know this way is west, that way is east, that makes that way north, and that way south. Okay, let's uh, put down a uh, compass, and we'll see how close we are. Um, whenever you are finding directions like this, this is the absolute true north. Whenever you use a uh, compass, it's a magnetic north. And normally, uh, there'll be a few degrees difference between tr true north and magnetic north. So don't let that bother you. Okay, this way is the true north, and according to this, it's just slightly different from the magnetic north, which is correct. There's, the magnetic north is supposed to be a few degrees different from the uh, true north. You should be able to find your way, whether you need to go to the east, west, north, or south, whichever way you believe there to be civilization. So you should be able to find your way through the woods. In some very remote areas it's not quite that simple and you really do need a, a map to be able to tell which way to go. But even if you have a map, no compass, you still need to know which direction you're traveling. Whenever you make a uh, reading as far as where the north is, you'll know from your map which direction you need to go and you simply line yourself up your two feet with your rod 
and you know that right there is north and you look off in the distance, whether it's a distant hillside, mountaintop, or just maybe a strange tree, and you know you need to walk that direction to be walking north. Same difference if you look behind you. You should be able to tell where you're coming from, make sure you're walking in a straight line. If you get confused, you can always do this again and get your bearings. But, like I said, the first marker you put down is your west, the second marker your east, so you know up in front of you is going to be north, behind you is going to be south, and you'll know what direction to travel in. This has been Bobby with Survival Existence, helping you find your directions. Good day.